Hi everyone, my name is Paul Stalinoff and I'm the uh, second in sixth form and I work with Mr. Ronnie Tamale. I just wanted to talk to you briefly about um, some of the extracurricular opportunities at EP for our sixth form students. Um, as you can see on the slide, there's, a, there's lots of things there that we offer. Some of them have been disrupted due to coronavirus, um, but some of them are still running in, in a very similar capacity, just a little bit changed. Um, firstly, we have the head team. Um, so this is a team that's uh, nominated and voted for by the rest of the sixth form students. So we have the head boy, head girl, and we also have the head team who work closely with them uh, running uh, quite a lot of these different events that you see on the slide, actually. Uh, so they run and organize it, and they also communicate these events to um, all the students that uh, need to hear about it. So they, they do a great job at that, and I think the current head team is doing a brilliant job um, considering the disruption this year too. We have a house team. So EP, um, the students are broken up into four different houses, and um, there's, there's a sixth form team that communicate with those houses in the lower school too. So they work quite a lot with the, with the lower school. We have lots of fundraising competitions. The Ice Ball, which is a really um, nice formal event that we usually run in January, February, um, which is really positive for the students and uh, has had really good turnout over the last couple of years as well. There's social events, sports teams, enrichment sessions, um, clubs, mentoring, volunteering, work experience opportunities, and summer schools. So I'll briefly talk about the enrichment session. So we um, usually have a, a, a different bunch of workshops running together for the enrichment session. So you could have more academic focused ones, or you could have things that, that are about um, trying to relax and things like yoga and meditation was a really popular enrichment session uh, last year. But um, it really is what the students want to do. So we, we listen to what the students want. We do a questionnaire and a survey, and then we try to build the enrichment sessions around that. Um, but yeah, so they're really um, positive options for the students. So we also, um, we also do uh, giving back to the community um, thing. So the one that I'm really proud of this year is the reading mentor group. So what, what we do is we have... Um, we have A-level students working with um, students in Year 7 and Year 8 who struggle with reading. Those sixth form students are given uh, two sessions of training and they basically pair up with a student in the lower school and help them read. Um, that has and I, We've run a couple of sessions of that already and that has been really positive and a really a great turnout in both the sixth form students and the and the key stage three students who are working with them. So that's been really positive and it's given them a chance to, to be trained in something and then show um, that they've developed skills. So that's something that's running really well this year. Um, academic mentoring. Now this is more for students in year 10 and year 11 working with a sixth form student on maybe their English or, or science or a specific subject. That um, is a great opportunity too. There's volunteering within classrooms. So we do have a couple of students right now who are volunteering within the class, just assisting that teacher um, with certain students in, the, in those groups. So that's really positive too. And we also have different fundraising initiatives. So we, we at EP, we do want our students to give back to the community in, in some way. And we find that um, the students who do that really um, grow and mature quite, quite rapidly. And they... Um, it's really also, it's just a really positive experience for them. So we do try and encourage as many six formers as possible to, to try to give back to the community in some way in one of these programs. Here we've got um, some of the examples of the advertisements made by the head team for the different um, nights and things we've had recently. So mo most recently we had a Halloween movie night, which is really, a really positive. And I think that was, that was a great night. We had a lot of people dressing up as well in different costumes. We had the Leavers Ball a few years back, EPCS quiz night and neon night. So these, these are all designed by the sixth form team, the head team, and they, they essentially organize everything. Uh, within reason, they organize everything. And um, I think once again this year, the, the head team have done a brilliant job in organizing events um, during the coronavirus. Here are some photos from um, the, the Halloween movie night. So it was a dress up day. And um, as you can see, we've got some interesting costumes here. But that was a really positive, um, positive day, the six formers. Here was um, the formal day we had. 
So the students were asked to, to dress up formally for a day of school and to fundraise as well. So that was quite a positive day as well. Just lastly, I wanted to um, discuss the support we offer for sixth form students. So um, as you can imagine this year, they, they have needed probably more support than than usual because it has been a stressful year and the news has been uh, i think for all of us hard to hard to focus on or um to maybe get our attention off of would be good but the um support we offer these students are study rooms so we've got two um study rooms now with computers in them and the students are meant to be quiet spaces where the students work um we have the common room as well, which the students usually sit and, and discuss things together, and that's where they kind of have a break, but that's quite a large room. Um, they can study there too, but it is a little bit noisy just because it's more of a casual space. There, um, This year we've actually added two quiet spaces to our, um, to our rooms, and they are dedicated actual quiet rooms um, where students can just relax in and, and get work done knowing that it's certainly going to be quiet because even in the, the blue and red study rooms with computers in them there is sometimes lessons and discussions happening in there so we thought that having a, a real dedicated quiet space would be um, beneficial so that's worked quite well we have targeted academic mentoring um, for students who are struggling in specific subjects in sixth form so we do um, support them uh, UCAS and apprenticeship support. So all our tutors work on the UCAS and apprenticeship support program, helping students develop their personal statements, their CVs, applications to apprenticeships. So that's ongoing all the time at the start of the year, and we are supporting those students. Uh, we have lots of external speakers and opportunities to do with careers. Uh, even now, we're still having a lot of those people in virtually, and um, that that's that's a great way for students to try and decide on what they want to do in the future. And um, it, it hasn't been as disrupted as, as you'd imagine. There are, This year there have been, I think we've had two or three speakers in already discussing careers and um, future prospects for students, which has been really useful. We also had the um, this, just this past week, the higher ed uh, careers fair, um, and they had, in previous years, you'd go somewhere in London to, to a stadium and then you'd talk to all the different stalls and um, get advice about um, apprenticeships and careers in university. But this year they had to move that entire platform online. Um, they did, and they did a great job of it. They actually created all these virtual stalls and all this, these resources. And um, the students signed up to it on Wednesday and got all this information they needed. So that was actually brilliant. Um, and tutor support just within the classroom. They, at EP, the tutors know, they know you and there's someone you can talk to. Because um, um, as I'm sure um, Mr. Tamale said earlier in the presentation, we are a smaller sixth form, but that the, the benefit of that is that we know the students really well. And um, we know their, the way they learn and the way they might uh, perhaps struggle in subjects and we can support them in that way. So I hope that was informative. Um, I'll sign off now. Okay, see you later.